Every darkness in our heart will dispel. Every trouble will give way. Your word will indwell us and do wonders in our lives. These we pray with thanksgiving in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Church, I say God bless you. Amen. Now, on the day I told somebody, I said, anytime I'm asked or I'm moved to tell somebody, God bless you, I'm not joking with it because I've been given the mandate to bless. Church, I say God bless you. Amen. By the grace of God, we will not stay so long because I'm aware of the weather. And uh, I know that very soon the sun will begin to radiate some heat around us. That is why whatever you see or do, we do it very snappy, not because we want to run away from the presence of God, but because we want to also do it in a good way and also have time for other activities. Help me tell somebody by your left and by your right that welcome, God bless you. Amen. I commend the parliamentary choir. I, I love your song. It reminds me of many, many, many years ago. And it was a very wonderful song in that place. And we enjoyed it for several years. I have not heard it again. Except today that you are singing, God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Um, like what I said before we started the service, I'm really proud. We are doing very well. The, the heaven is on limit. I wouldn't say the sky is on limit. I would say heaven is on limit. Continue to do what they are doing and do it well. I'm putting more effort in doing it. I want to assure you that God will bless you. Like I said yesterday, I will <coughs> begin a series on season of fruitfulness. Season of fruitfulness. For those who are in the first service, we did an introduction of that of that season, and then we established that fruitfulness, you know, is a sign of God's blessing. God blessing us, and it's a sign that we are also close to God. Because God is the author of fruitfulness. You are not listening to me, you are smiling, laughing. I'm talking to say, I'm saying something very, very important to you. And uh, God is the author of fruitfulness. You cannot be fruitful without God. And God created man and imputed into man the ability to be fruitful. So you, as a child of God, who know God, who believes in God, you ought to be fruitful. And we also established that we have two kinds of of fruitfulness, of groups of fruitfulness. We talk about the natural fruitfulness and the spiritual fruitfulness. After that, we now establish three important levels of fruitfulness we identified this morning from Genesis chapter 1, from 11 to 12, and from verse 22 to 31. Genesis chapter 1, 11 to 12, and verse 22 to 31, we establish that God pronounced on the earth to bring forth seed-bearing trees and they obeyed and because they obeyed we as children of God who are sensible ought to know that God expects obedience from us if none if some of these things to obey God we have to obey him more we also said that God causes the bed the, 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 the vegetation or let me say the earth to bring forth all kinds of animals and it came to pass. Also as the air to bring birds and it came to pass. So God looked at them and said, it is good. The Bible said it was so as God has pronounced. So we said whatever God has pronounced must come to pass in your life. Amen. The third thing is that God made man. When it came to the issue of God making man, God did not make pronouncements but rather God said, let us make man in our image and likeness. So God decided to change the level of oppression by coming together, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to make man. And God put in us what he himself is. And that is the ability to think, to choose, to make choices, the ability to reason and understand. And we establish that God 
is a God who reasons, and that sometimes God will not ask us to reason with him on certain matters, but on certain matters, God will ask us to reason with him. And we also said that God has given us the power to be fruitful. And you find that in Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, it says, um, God bless them and ask them to multiply, fill the earth, subdue the earth, and rule over the fish of the sea and over the beast of the land and so on and so forth. So the mandate to be fruitful has been established by this introduction. Now let's move a little further by looking at the foundation of fruitfulness. The foundation of fruitfulness. That is the topic we're going to treat in this second service. The foundation of fruitfulness. Let's say it together. I want to three close. Somebody say it. The foundation of fruitfulness. Let's assume your friend is not aware and you want to tell your friend that this is the topic they want to treat. talk to somebody. The foundation of fruitfulness. That's what we are going to look at now. The Almighty God is the origin and the author of fruitfulness in the universe. He created everything that shows his fruitfulness. For the fact that God created everything, both in heaven and on earth and many there, it established that God is the God of fruitfulness. By creation, God's fruitfulness have been demonstrated. He has shown us what it means.